You know, Carvana pretty much, if you go back a year uh, looking at Carvana, they were set out to pasture to go and die. <laughs> and they basically reinvented themselves and made sure that whatever funding they had left, they made it work for them. In fact, this most recent, they're about to have another earnings announcement here after market close on February 22nd. But this most recent uh, uh, earnings, this last time on November 2nd, they actually showed that they took all that investor dollars that was left over and made a profit. You know, they are in this um, kind of sideways choppy pattern, which I love, right? I like to leg into some different positions. And so I've been myself selling some just premium whenever they kind of get to the top of their channel. I'm selling some premium. Uh, because I, I I put some of Carvana in my long-term portfolio that I can use as a covering position. So, uh, Paul, let's take a look at the more recent chart, and I'll give you some thoughts, at least my two cents here. Um, you know, Carvana's coming towards its most recent highs here at uh, 60. And so I'm looking for some sort of signal. Again, I'm not going to trust any of the leading signals. I would use some sort of lagging signal to identify a top. And by the way, if you want, don't forget, you can go and get a free access to our web portal and download our little indicator that we've created here for some of the different platforms. We'll actually be releasing that indicator um, on some different platforms above and beyond Thinkorswim and Metastock that we've got so far. But um I'd, you know, I'd wait for that indicator to pop and I would use it as an end of day indicator and then make sure that there's follow through on the subsequent trading sessions. Um, and I would use that in my mind to either do some sort of naked put type, you know, cash secured put type trade. Um, or I, I, in other words, I don't think I'm ready to short uh, Carvana right now. I would rather be in a long position and then sell call premium, buy protective puts, and roll those trades out month in and month out until I see some sort of move. But I'm interested to hear what Dan has to say. Dan, you're still on the line. What are your thoughts on Carvana? Yeah, so Carvana is an interesting one that hits our options rater uh, short squeeze finder on a fairly uh -huh. regular basis. You know, you can see this massive move here. You can see this little move here and the move that we're in now. What's interesting is that this is an $11.5 billion company. That's the market value of the shares. There's 35% of the available shares, the float, are shorted. That's, mm -hmm. I mean, that's, uh, that's like $4 billion worth of stock. A lot of people are betting against this one. A lot of people are betting against it. And the fact that this is not a two or three dollar stock, it's a fifty-four dollar stock, it, it just sort of ups the ante. Right now. I'm glad it's yours and not mine this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that kind of ups the ante a little bit because we've gotten some of these little short squeezes that have happened. And when I say little, I mean, <laughs> you know, we're talking about the stock, you know, rising by like 80%. But if one really, really takes hold, I mean, the short squeezers, they have a lot, a lot to lose on their $4 billion bet. And so there could be massive, massive covering and this thing can just shoot. I mean, as they used to say with uh, GameStop and such, to the moon. 